Chris Chase 5. <laughs> Alright guys, what's up? CIA or Chris here. And today's video consists of another CDL pick'em. These are my CDL predictions for the next set of games, Super Week. This week, there are games running Monday through Friday. There are three games every day except Monday, because games were postponed last week due to weather. Alright, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. The first match of the week, I'm going 3-1 to LAG. Flores begun the season off to a rocky start as they lost to Ultra. LAG, on the other hand, has beat Paris and their maps were close and their loss to FaZe minus the hard point. Florida also has some younger players, so I think the veteran experience of LAG will help prevail them to victory in this series. The next series, I'm calling 3-2 Atlanta FaZe. FaZe has been looking good as they beat Optic Map 5. Ultra have also been looking good as they beat Florida already and took a map on Optic. Ultra is still coming off this loss to Optic though, and I feel they will not be able to to regain that quickly versus a team as good as FaZe. The next match I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of Florida. This is a strong Florida team as they beat FaZe kickoff weekend. Paris has also not been looking that good as they lost to Optic 3-0 and LAG. FaZe also beat LAG 3-0 and Paris lost to LAG. So by chain effect, I think Florida should win this series. And for the next match, I will have to call 3-1 in favor of NYSL. The subliners will be hungry as they just got 3-0'd by the Thieves. Clay is also still leading NYSL as a former world champ. London on the other hand was unable to even beat Surge, so I think they will definitely struggle versus NYSL. The next series I will have to give to the Minnesota Rockers 3-0. Rockers beat the former world champs Empire this year. Surge were barely able to beat London with the addition of Parasite, a new player to their team. Rocker also has a very talented roster formed of former FaZe and NYSL players. For these reasons, I think this series will go 3-0 Rocker. And for the next series, I will have to call 3-0 in favor of Empire. Empire is still the reigning world champs, and they are still looking to bounce back from their loss to Rocker. London has not looked like a strong team though thus far and they will be coming off losses to both Surge and NYSL. Both teams will be coming off losses and both teams will be fired up. There's more chemistry on Empire however which I think will help them to prevail in this series 3-0. The next series I will have to call 3-0 in favor of the Thieves. The Thieves have looked phenomenal this season. They had an undefeated opening weekend and are currently tied for first in CDL points. The Surge is still struggling as they lost to Rocker 3-0 earlier in the weekend. I believe the Thieves will continue to work. They want to bring Nade Shot a ship and the players on their team normally hit stride later in the season anyways. If you look at a player like Kenny, he has always prevailed later on in the season as opposed to earlier. I believe the Thieves will look to assert themselves as a top team early and this will give them the motivation to prevail in this series 3-0. The next match I will have to call 3-1 in favor of Optic Chicago. Optic has looked dominant so far. They 3-0'd in their series versus Paris and they were able to take phase to map 5. The team is also composed of some great players in scum formal dashing envoy. Ultra however was able to beat Florida 3-1. I do feel they are capable of taking one map. Optic has struggled with an S and D, which is the map I think they will be able to take. This has been Optic's weak point, and I think Ultra will be able to take one map there. The next series I'll have to call 3-2 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. Rocker will be coming off a 3-0 versus Surge and a win versus Empire, and will continue that momentum. The subliners are also coming off of a win. This win was against London, however, which is an easier opponent than Empire. I also feel that the subliners underperformed versus the Thieves. This will be their first real test. I feel that this team is good enough to take two maps on Rocker, and Clay will definitely be fired up, upset and angry after facing such embarrassment versus the Thieves. The next series I'll have to call 3-1 to one to Optic. This is a very strong Optic team. They will be playing good, playing confident, and coming off of a win. I do feel LAG will be able to take the Surge though. As explained before, this is Optic's weak point. They got 6-0'd by FaZe and Surge. I think both are decent teams and the series should definitely not be 3-0. The next series I'll have to call 3-2 to two to FaZe. Florida is FaZe's nemesis and is always pushing their buttons. Florida is also coming off a win to Paris. This is still a strong FaZe team too though and they will want redemption from when they lost kickoff weekend. Kickoff weekend, FaZe lost to Florida 3-2 which is why I think they will take this one 3-2. The next series I will call 3-0 in favor of the Thieves. The Thieves are hot. They at this point will still be undefeated and will be coming off a 3-0 versus Surge. London on the other hand has been in a slump. They have been unable to win any game so far. The Thieves have looked dominant so far this season and I think they should definitely be able to take this in a 3-0 fashion. The next series I will have to call 3-0 in favor of the Toronto Ultra. Toronto has looked solid. They beat Florida 3-1 and will be coming off a hard 3-2 loss versus FaZe. Paris on the other hand is still struggling. They have yet to secure a win yet. I feel that Ultra is too good of a team for Paris to get their first win against, which is why I'm calling this 3-0 Ultra. The next series I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Dallas Empire. The subliners have secured some wins, and they will perform better this time than they did versus Empire kickoff weekend. During kickoff weekend, they got 3-0. Dallas has also now lost to Rocker, proving they are not invincible. The team is still strong, however, and I think
think we'll be able to take this series in four. The next series, I will be calling 3-0 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. This is a strong FaZe team that has barely been winning games. They have had three 3-2 wins and will come out hot versus a weaker Paris team. Paris also is still slumping. They have been struggling all season and unable to win a series. And now for my updated power rankings. At 12th, the Paris Legion. At 11th, the London Royal Ravens. At 10th, the Seattle Surge. At 9th, the New York Subliners. At 8th, the Florida Mutineers. At 7th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. At 6th, the Toronto Ultra. At 5th, the Minnesota Rocker. At 4th, Optic Chicago. At 3rd, the Dallas Empire. At 2nd, Atlanta FaZe. And in 1st, the LA Thieves. Alright guys, but that's pretty much it for the video today. The first week of games was insane. Thieves going undefeated was super hype. Octane and the boys at Surge got a win. And the matchup between Atlanta FaZe and Optic Chicago was very close. I think it was a good opening weekend and I'm super excited to see how the second week and weekend of games play out. Let's hope the Thieves play good again. Alright, but that's pretty much it from me. As always, let me know what your thoughts are down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. But until next time, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA. Peace.